In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the Lord God created the heavens and the earth and everything there is. Then God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them, and named the man Adam. And Adam named her Eve. Then God planted a beautiful garden in Eden and put them in the garden and gave them dominion over the earth and everything in it. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat of it, you will surely die. Where are you? God called to Adam, Where are you? Adam answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid. And God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Then the Lord made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to eat from the tree of life and live forever. To live forever without spirit and with sin and wickedness in their hearts is to surely die. So the Lord banished Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden and placed the cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. The world was now hard and dark and man lived with sin and evil in his heart. Adam and Eve were fruitful and multiplied greatly. And the Lord saw how great man's wickedness on earth had become, and that every inclination of the thought of his heart was only evil all the time. But God in his holiness did not abandon us. He will look over us and the Lord will promise to one day bring his children back into his heart. And in that promise, the Lord called Abram to leave his old life and start anew. And the Lord told him, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. Abram in his impatience had a son with Hagar his maidservant, because Sarai his wife was bare and could not have children. And they named him Ishmael, born from mistrust. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. Abram fell face down and God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. God also said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of people will come from her. Your wife Sarah will bear you a son and you will call him Isaac. 
I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. And Isaac was born from blessing. And as for your other son, Ishmael, I will surely bless him. I will also make him fruitful and increase his numbers across the world. But my covenant is with Isaac, whom I love. And Isaac walked with the Lord as his father Abraham did before him. And through Isaac, Jacob and Esau were born. Jacob grew up misguided, but were blessed and loved by Isaac and the Lord. And while Jacob was running away from his troubles, the Lord told Jacob through a dream, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out to the west, to the east, to the north and to the south. All people on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Then Jacob took the stone he used as a pillow and set it up as a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called this place Bethel and said, This stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house and all that you give me I will give you a tenth. As years passed and Jacob wrestles with God for his blessing, the Lord asked Jacob for his name. Jacob will see his heart and self as it really is. And the Lord will bless him and tell him, Your name will no longer be Jacob but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. And God loved and blessed Israel. He looked over Israel and made Israel into a great nation of kings. And God guided the prophet Samuel to anoint David, a descendant of Abraham from Bethlehem, to be king. And the Lord promised King David to establish a house for him. When your days are over and you rest with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, who will come from your own body, and I will establish his kingdom. He is the one who will build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. But a kingdom on earth can never be forever. Just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned. After the last of the prophets came nearly 400 years of darkness and silence. The people left to do as they will, and no voice from God.